Hello everyone. Welcome to the topic on strain. In this video, we are going to learn about strain and types of strain in detail. First, what is strain? Whenever a material is subjected to any kind of load, it will tend to deform its shape. The strain is the ratio between change in dimension to original dimension is called stain. The strain measures the deformation of the body from the original shape due to the applied load. The strain has no unit. The strain in mathematical form is the ratio between change in dimension to original dimension. Ok. Now, let us see the types of strain. The strain broadly classified as 1. Longitudinal strain 2. Shear strain and 3. Volumetric strain Longitudinal strain is the ratio of change in length to the original length. Shear strain is the ratio of change in angle to the fixed layer. Volumetric strain is the ratio of change in volume to the original volume. Let us discuss in detail. First longitudinal strain. The longitudinal strain is the ratio between change in length to original length. If further classified into two types. 1. Tensile strain. 2. Compressive strain. Next. Tensile strain. Due to tensile load. The strain developed in the object is called tensile strain. Due to tensile strain. The length of the object will increase. The strain has no unit. We can find the tensile strength by using the formula. Tensile strain is equal to the ratio between the increased length to original length. Next, compressive strain. Due to compressive load, the strain developed in the object is called compressive strain. Due to tensile strain, the length of the object will decrease. Mathematically, compressive strain is the ratio between decreased length to original length. Next, shear strain. Due to shear load, the strain developed in the object is called shear strain. Due to shear load, the tangent dimensions of the object will change. And, last one, volumetric strain. Due to load in all direction, the strain developed in all sides of the object is called volumetric strain. Mathematically, volumetric strain is the ratio between change in volume to original volume. Let us see some real-time applications where we have to concentrate more on the strain. When tensile load is applied on the object, tensile strain will be produced. Examples Weight lifting hook Support hanger Stem of the fan etc. When compressive load is applied on the object, compressive strain will be produced. Examples Pillars of a bridge Design of chair and table legs etc. Shear strain will be produced due to the shear load. Example Lap joint of welding Knuckle joint Cotter joint etc. Volumetric strain produced on the object when force is acting in all directions of the object. Example Design of submarine Design of underground buildings Ok guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.